Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's a back to school makeup look, which I think is really great for anyone who is getting ready early in the morning, who doesn't have a lot of time, whether you're going to school, whether you're going to work. But since school is right around the corner, I figured it would be a perfect time and a perfect video to make and to film. So although I'm not in school anymore, I totally know the feeling of waking up early in the morning, rushing, being so tired, but still wanting to really look put together to have that full, complete makeup look, but just do it really fast, really easy, and to just still make it look great. So I have as least products as possible. So I also have a few tips and tricks that I use and that I'll tell you guys about that will help you just achieve this look that much faster and that much easier. So if you wanna see how I'm gonna get this back to school makeup look, then please keep on watching. And before you leave my channel, before you leave this video, as always, please remember to subscribe. It will mean the world to me. And follow me on Instagram at RaffaellaXO and add me on Snapchat, rmaller. I post some really cool stuff selfies, makeup looks, and what I'm buying, what I'm trying, so remember to add me there. Obviously moisturizing our face and priming our face is two important steps, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This has coconut water, it's a replenishing face primer. It's supposed to kind of wake your skin up and give it some really nice nutrients that it needs, so we're gonna do a two-in-one. We're gonna moisturize and prime our skin at the same time with this product because it's super hydrating and it also makes your makeup last all day. And you know, you're in school or at work for long hours, so we wanna make sure that we're gonna use products that are gonna stay on our face for a long time. Okay, primers on. Instead of foundation, because we just, early in the morning, we don't wanna cake on foundation, it's just totally not necessary. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy It Cosmetic CC Cream, which I love. I mentioned this in my favorites video, and I've used it in some videos in the past. Um, it is full coverage, but it's super easy to blend out. It doesn't feel heavy. It is also moisturizing, and it just feels so nice on the skin and does give you just enough coverage. I'm not using a beauty blender. I'm using a very dense brush. More of a dense brush will help you build up product and it's much quicker to use use a brush than a beauty blender. I find that I waste so much time taking a beauty blender and dabbing it all over my face and we just don't have the time for that early in the morning before class, school, or work. So I'm using a very dense brush. This one is by Tarte, if I didn't mention that yet. And in two seconds, we're all blended out. So I'm pumping right onto the brush. The trick here is to use a very dense brush that the denser the brush, the more pigment um, it's gonna transfer to your face. So really quick and really easy. We have all that coverage without using the time to buff it in with a sponge. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and applying it right under my eyes. We wanna look super awake and not tired in the morning, even though we might be. And I'm not using a sponge for this either. I'm taking a small stipple brush. This one is by e.l.f. and just blending it right in to my skin. So to make sure that our makeup will last all day long, we're gonna set it with some translucent powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier, my holy grail. And with the fluffy brush, just dusting it all over. No baking, because nobody's got time for that in the morning. Now I'm taking the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and I'm using something that's a little bit more um, of a warm bronzer, nothing too harsh to contour with. So I'm taking a nice big fluffy brush and just warming up the face a little bit. Early in the morning, we don't have time 
to spend contouring and you know shaping out the face it's just not necessary as long as we got some warmth on us and a little bit on the cheeks then we're good to go so I'm just fluffing it onto my cheeks my forehead put a little bit on my neck and while we still have this bronzer out I'm gonna be taking my Morphe B81 brush and using the bronzer, not picking up any extra products that we don't need, no shadows, a bronzer will work just fine. And I'm gonna apply it right into the crease of my eye. This is totally not 100% necessary, but I like to put this in. I just feel like it kind of opens up my eyes and makes me look a little bit more awake. So that's why I like to just put it into my crease it kind of gives my eyes a little bit more dimension i just feel it makes me look more awake especially when i'm tired in the morning this is just the step that i like to do and i do recommend it to you guys to try Okay, now I'm just gonna set my skin with Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Rose Water. And let that dry for a second. Before our face gets too, too dry, I wanna put on a little bit of highlight. I'm using the Becca Liquid Highlighter in the shade Opal. I find that the liquid isn't as um, in your face, at least this one's not. The Cover FX one that I like to use, that one is going to give you a super blinding highlight. But this one's just going to be super subtle, but still give you that really nice glow. And I'm skipping out on blush because I find that it's not a 100% necessary product to use. If you're a blush girl, if you need to use blush, then go ahead and obviously put it on. But I'm going to skip out on it because for me, it's just not 100% necessary. And again, I'm trying to use as few products as possible. Brows, I'm going in with the Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the shade Dark Brown, nope, in the shade Chocolate. I actually used to use the shade Dark Brown, which I still do, I have like another Brow Wiz in that shade, but sometimes I find that my brows looked too dark. Um, maybe it was just because I needed to be like more light-handed, but for some, I think that the color Chocolate works better for me. So if I do need a, it to be a little darker, I could just press a little harder. Or I can always add some powder or brow pomade. But especially for a more natural, quick look, a lighter shade is definitely better. I'm sticking with using a brow pencil for this look because it's definitely much quicker and much faster to do. And if you're not one to have to set your brows, Go ahead and skip this step, but I have pretty thick like brow hairs, so I find that if I don't set them, they kind of just look a little messy and all over the place. So this is a step for me that I definitely can't go without, but if you can, then please do. But we'll go ahead and put on mascara. I'm gonna use the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's been my new favorite. If you've seen my um, review on this product, then you know that I loved it. I'll link it down below so you can check it out if you haven't. And I'm just going quickly and coating my lashes. And now for lips, I'm going to skip out on using lip liner because I feel that it's not 100% necessary. If you, I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection in the shade More Creamer, please. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned a few things, tips and tricks, how to achieve a really quick and easy full glam um, before school, before work, when you just don't have a lot of time. So I really did try to use the most necessary products and just do everything in the most, most quick and time saving way. So I hope that my little tips and tricks helped you guys out. I hope that you guys would use my little routine in this video for your days before school or work. So that is all, and I will see you guys next time right here on my channel. Thank you.